The speaker libraries in Vectorworks work a bit differently than our other tools and libraries, so we wanted to cover this in a specific video. If you are customizing your speakers manually, these steps are not required. The speaker tools are going to simplify the geometry compared to the symbols in the libraries. If you need to display high detail renderings of speakers, you will want to place the speaker symbol directly from the library instead of using the speaker or speaker array tools. To start out, let's make sure that all the speaker and bumper libraries are downloaded and installed. To do this, open your Resource Manager, go to Window, Palettes, Resource Manager, and make sure you can see the left column. Expand Vectorworks Libraries and right-click on Objects-Ent-Audio and choose Download and Install. If you only need specific libraries, you can expand this folder and choose Specific Files. If the libraries you are looking for are part of the subscription libraries, you will need to download these files specifically on the Vectorworks Service Select website. Go to Tools, Options, Vectorworks Preferences, User Folders. On Mac, choose Reveal and Finder, and on Windows, choose Explore. After the window appears, move that off to the side for a moment and go ahead and close Vectorworks. In the window that appeared, navigate to 2019, Libraries, Defaults, Audio Tools. In this folder, we are looking for a file called audiotoolsetdata.xml. If you have recently installed or never used the speaker tools, this file may not exist. If the file does exist, let's go ahead and delete it. This file stores some speaker settings, so we want to make sure that the new speakers come in as expected with their default values. We now need to add the downloaded libraries into a different folder if we want to use them with the speaker tools. Navigate to the Applications folder on Mac or Program Files on Windows. Then go into the Vectorworks 2019 folder, Libraries, Objects Ent Audio. In this folder, you will find the libraries that were downloaded through the Resource Manager. Copy the ones you wish to add to the speaker tools. Navigate back to Applications or Program Files, Vectorworks 2019, Libraries, Defaults, Audio Tools, Speakers, and paste the copied files here. You can do the same for bumpers if needed. Now, let's go ahead and reopen Vectorworks. Go to your Resource Manager and choose to refresh the libraries. If one doesn't open on its own, go ahead and open a new blank document for a moment. In this document, make sure to go to File, Document Settings, Units, and set the primary units to millimeters. This is not a requirement moving forward, but we need to do this one time up front to set the XML file as needed. This XML file will be automatically generated in the background. Go to the speaker tool and place a speaker into the drawing. Just place the generic speaker here to start as you will not have the import option in the object properties dialog. Once the speaker is in the drawing, go to the type dropdown in the object info palette and choose import. You should find all the files and types that we added in the audio folder earlier in the video. Bring in one of these to make sure it comes in. Remember, this should match the overall size of the original speaker, but it will be a simplified version of the symbol. Once you bring in this first speaker, everything should now be set up and you can begin working with these resources in your own files.